हेलो जेंटलमैन एंड नॉलेज सीकर्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ माय वेल्डिंग ऑफ डुप्लेक्स वीडियो बेसिकली वी हैव डिस्कस द मेटलर्जी एंड लिटिल बिट ऑफ कंटेंट्स ऑफ डुप्लेक्स स्टील सम बोरिंग स्टप्स नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट सिलेक्शन ऑफ वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस ऑफ डुप्लेक्स स्टील दिस वीडियो विल बी रिलेटेड टू वेल्डिंग ऑफ डुप्लेक्स स्टील्स लेट अस स्टार्ट depending on the availability of the power source consumables and desired properties and economic considerations smaw gtaw gmaw fcaw saw and paw are all suitable for welding of these steels autogenous welding process such as gta without filler ebw lbw are not at all suitable for the welding of these duplex steels because the heat created high ferrite amount and phase balance is disturbed when it comes to achieving better impact toughness values studies and experience shows that a gas shielded welding process gives better result as compared to that of flux shielded welding process matching filler chemistry to the base metal would yield a well metal deposit with high ferrite content of balancing the optimal ferrite austenite phase required hence it required nitrogen and nickel to be added through filler wear to ensure phase balance ferrite more means the material getting brittle nickel based welding consumable such as nicrmo10 nicrmo3 nicrmo14 can be very well used for duplex steel welding so for a dss2205 use 2209 22 cr9 ni welding consumables and for sdss2507 use 2594 which is 25 cr9 ni and 4mo welding consumable for dissimilar welds between dss to cs las ass preferably dss filler should be used however case by case review is necessary for processing consideration and design requirement dss generally does not require any preheat however it should be free of moisture before welding maximum 100 degree uh, preheat may be applied to remove moisture and cool before welding excessive interposed temperature can cause embrittlement and low impact values for sdss maximum interposed is 100 degree centigrade and dss maximum interposed is 120 degree centigrade heat input during welding plays a vital role in optimal phase balance and properties achieved too low heat input weld is predominantly ferritic too high heat input slow cooling rates chances of intermetallic phases to form a weld and in has coal pass technique for sdss you can see in this sketch here high thermal loading of the root pass increases the risk for precipitation of intermetallic phases reduced corrosion resistance i have discussed the heat input is not preferably more so there is a range of coal pass is 8 to 12 kJ per cm and bulky root heat input is 10 to 15 kJ per cm influence of heat input in during the welding of duplex stainless steel slow cooling rate in case of heat input greater than 15 kJ per cm heat input the formula is i into u into 60 divided by vs into 1000 increased risk of precipitation of intermetallic structural instability decreased corrosion resistance decreased toughness avoid high heat input in hot pass to minimize the sigma in root bit interpass temperature less than 120 degree centigrade i discussed for dss and 100 degree centigrade for sdss use suitable joint configuration and beveling reduced penetration small land 1 to 2 mm welding in a gap 2 to 4 mm filler in root reduced fluidity wider joint preparation plus 10 degree 70 to 80 degree welding of duplex stainless steel you can see the defects here high nitrogen content increases the risk of porosity in horizontal position gmaw can be avoided with pure argon gas as a shielding no carbon dioxide or not oxygen 
poor arc stability other solutions to change welding method flux core where gives minimum amount of porosity also in worse position that is overhead fluidity and arc stability lower than standard austenitic fillers gives better best result with synergic pulsing recommended shielding gas is argon plus 30% helium and 1 to 3% co2 or argon plus 2% oxygen or argon plus 2 to 3% carbon dioxide you can see the different type of slags spatter and embedded slag pulsed arc normal spray arc high bm nitrogen content increases the sensitivity to porosity super duplex pure argon teak welding without filler crack in feeding screws in 12 mm standard duplex 2205 welding in horizontal position welder unsatisfied with the visual appearance jitao means argon treatment without filler oil metal ferrite content locally 80 to 90% brittle weld and cracked after short time in service on whole feeding screw jitao treatment without filler completely forbidden on duplex construction this is the take out from this slide austenitic fillers on standard duplex scc in 1% nacl 200 degree centigrade 200 hours with 316 filler austenitic weld metal with 10% ferrite resulted in scc in uns s32205 joints do not weld duplex with austenitic fillers this is the take out impact energy requirements for 22% chromium dss weldments dnv rules for c greater than 27 joule minus 20 degree centigrade spic kapag greater than 40j minus 20 degree centigrade you can go through this table for the remaining values duplex steel the penetration into base metal is less than fex 1.4301304 and 1.4401316 risk of incomplete penetration full penetration essential for structural integrity and good properties 2 to 2.5 mm root gap plus 30 degree bevel angle fluidity and slack control slightly worst then for 1.4301304 och 1.4401316 slag inclusions easily formed covered electrodes and fcrw avoid narrow gaps and small joint angles high nitrogen content in base material increase the sensitivity for porosity formation we discussed before we have shown one rt films for your reference wrong joint preparation increase the risk due to high degree of parent metal fusion and trapping of nitrogen gas in the solidifying metal inadequate gas protection so the content of nitrogen in the weldment we need to take care striking scars grinding scars surface oxide crevices all decreases the corrosion resistance repair welding must be performed using duplex filler ferrous contamination can be removed by chemical cleaning with nitric acid and carbon steel tooling must be avoided as much as possible organic contamination such as paint oil crayon marks can be removed with a chlorine free solvent pickling finally a chromium depleted layer gets formed beneath the heat tints heat tints oxide can be removed by pickling using commercial pickling pastes or by means of immersion in a fluoro nitric bath duplex steel are generally more difficult to pickle than standard austenitic steel such as 304 and 316 pickling and passivation we will discuss separately for now that's all for duplex steel welding very basic thanks for watching if you like the way of my teaching please don't forget to hit the like button and share the channel to your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you signing off showman